I am really, really disappointed when I hear people saying that we Christians, our Christian communities, don't do enough during this catastrophe, what happened, what happens more and more. I must say you are wrong. And I give you some examples. Examples from the help we Christian communities give. Remember during the earthquake January last year, 223,000 people died. We were not sitting only there. No, we were all together in our churches praying, praying for these poor people. Praying for their souls that they got saved. That was a good help. After this, the winter storm Cynthia in February, about 65 deaths. All we were together in our churches and we were praying for these poor, poor people. In Chile, the 27th of February, during the earthquake and the tsunami, 520 people died. And again, we raised funds and were together in our churches to pray for these poor people. In China, during the inundations, where the water was everywhere, 260 people lost their life. We were present with our prayers. In Pakistan, Inundation in Pakistan, 1,760 people died. But even when they are another faith, even when they are not Christians, we were together in our churches and we were praying for them. The same in December and January, during the great, great rain in, in Australia, in Queensland, 15 people died. We were there, we were with them. We were praying with them. The same thing in Brazil. In Brazil, in January, remember the landslide. 500 people lost a life. 500 people. What could this 500 people do without our help? Without our help. What will be with their souls? We raised money and even more. We were there. From my colleague from the Evangelican Church, they raised so much money that they even could buy a bus. A bus to bring even more people to the church to pray. Even disabled people, they could pick them up at home with this bus who was bought with your money. The rest of the money was not wasted to keep more people more long time in the churches. We spent money for the catering that the people don't have to go home. We gave them food and drinks that they could stay there and that they have not to stop with their prayers. If that is not help, our Catholic priest, Father O'Brenny, even ordered a new mess uh, cloth for to be even more beautiful in front of God, to have a bigger influence. He ordered this beautiful gold sticked mess talar that our prayers go faster and better to our God. Not and nothing of your money were wasted. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, shut them up. You know what's right. If you want to donate, donate where your money really help people. I stand for Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctor Without Borders. Donate to really help.